Kendra from the Lexington facility at New Vocations Great Source Adoption Program. And here with us today is Dr. Dorr, who's come in pretty recently. And Dr. Dorr is our featured celebrity in the barn as well. He is a very accomplished horse uh, on the track. So he won over half a million dollars in earnings and at seven years old with 20 races. He raced in April, so not even uh, a month ago, probably three weeks ago, was his last race. What is time now, anyway? But yes, fairly, fairly recently, he was still active in his career as a racehorse, but one of my favorite little tidbits from his last race was that the doctor, human doctor door, who he's named after, had commented that he was, seemed to be practicing social distancing in his last race because he was trying to keep distance in, in the back from the other horses. But that also indicated to the owner and trainer who are uh, the Baffert, Bob Baffert was the, his trainer and Jill Baffert, Bob's wife, was the owner. So um, definitely a team effort there with the Bafferts. But they had noted at that time that he, he should probably start uh, him a good shot at having a career in another discipline. So that's why he came to us and we're thrilled to have him. He's been a really lovely horse around the barn so far. He's a Jeff Jason turnout and I just legged up on him about a minute ago and what's really neat with horses who are a little older and who have this experience on the track that have come from great trainers is that uh, a lot of times you, you have a leg up so to speak in the training process. So
him a little bit. He's a little fidgety, but I have him on a loose buckle, no reins. He's not doing anything. So overall, really trustworthy, good guy. I'm gonna check my girth. him that this is a low stress environment. We want him to be able to enjoy his job and, and ultimately even if that's our only goal, that's a really great goal to have so that you can build on that. If you don't develop that foundation and you create a stressful um, mentality for work, then it's a lot more of a struggle to build on that sort of uh, cracking foundation where, where they're they're not really feeling confident they're not really happy but if they're happy and they, they're okay with working and they like to work and they're relaxed then you can do just about anything from there so um i'll just i'll take them around again we'll see if we can get them to relax just a little bit if you have any questions feel free to type them in the comments nothing yet uh -uh. rambo's um trying to make him feel at home he has his own little jockey on his back and so that you know sense of familiarity. He's like, all right, I know what we're doing here. his age, height, and race history. He, Dr. Gore is seven. He's a seven-year-old gelding. He raced 20 times, um, and out of those 20 times, he had five races where he won, actually. He's one of the more, uh, I don't know the word, but he came uh, in second in a
things that first little trot that we did, he settled a lot. There's you know, a lot of unfamiliarity in this ring and he was really, really brave throughout. Something he's like, oh, this is, it is very windy today. Um, but I was impressed that he came back and that he stayed focused. And what I, my job as a rider is not to try to adjust him too much, especially not on this first ride, but rather to have that sense of um, close contact and security in my lower body and stay relaxed and follow him and try to keep as loose rein as possible while still having control. But it's just a really light feel in his mouth. So I don't want to be restrictive. I want to see how he's going to stretch out, how responsive he is with as little contact as possible. You can always take up a little more if you need, but if you can keep that sense of looseness, it'll help them to relax, gain a sense of trust, and keep that sensitivity that you want so they don't get dull to your feel. So, really, really impressed with him. He did a really great job. So, that's Dr. Doors. First time. You guys are all with us on it. Um, do we have any questions coming in? Did he retire with any injuries? How long has he been at New Vocations? He's been here for a week, almost a week. Would he be okay for an intermediate rider with a Western saddle? No, uh, I, no qualms against the Western saddle, but um, I, I hesitate with any horse to say intermediate is okay because everybody has a different sense of intermediate. But as a general rule, um, I would say advanced intermediate is the lowest I would recommend for any of our greener horses. Um, horses who are a little bit older, especially when they're green, they take a little bit more of a skilled hand. Babies obviously have complications of their own, but when they're a little older and they've you know, done their job for a long time, you, you do need somebody who has the um, experience of working with a, a greener horse. And, and, and I say with the horses who are a little bit older, they, um, they're mature and they know their job, so they can be a little bit more stubborn and sometimes they're really easy, so it's a spectrum. But I, I would always say you're going to need a more advanced rider with any of our horses because they're green. Um, so I, I would, there are all, always going to be exceptions, but as a general question, I would say um, as an intermediate rider, you should not be looking at a horse who's just come off the track. How is he in turnout and ground manners? Um, he has great ground manners. We haven't really needed to um, keep a more careful hand on him for like walking in and out. We haven't even introduced him to getting turned out with other horses yet. Um, that's one of the virtues of having a horse who really knows his job and is a little older and has been already in a workout routine is that you don't need to, um, sometimes they can get into this part of the retraining process a little bit quicker than some of the younger ones. So we're still working on transitioning him into a different turnout group, but I think he's ready for that basically anytime. So like, you can check back in and see how he does when he's turned out with other horses, but we're not anticipating any issues. Anything else? Well, if you guys are watching this after it's live or think of questions after the fact, please feel free to type them in the comments box and we'll get back to them as we can. For those of you who missed it, this is Dr. Dorr. He's a seven-year-old gelding who's come into our program just in the last week. He won over a half a million dollars in the track and came to us from the Bathurst. And this was his very first ride with us, but he raced less than a month ago, right? Yeah, right around a month ago. So um, he's already used to being an athlete and is in shape and just ready to start in a very slow uh, retraining process to get him all the tools he needs to fill his toolbox so he can start a new career in doing some other athletic pursuit. But so far, so good. We're really proud of him. He's a great citizen of Arn. And please tune back in tomorrow at noon for another meet and greet where you'll be able to see more adoptable horses and feel free to check out our website horseadoption.com to see all the horses who are currently available for adoption and thank you for joining us hopefully you'll tune back in tomorrow at noon